Hey everyone, welcome back. I am back today, you guys. I am back today with more Demon Slayer. And today we're going to be checking out the brand new arc that just dropped, I think like a day ago. Uh, I'm so excited, you guys. Um, brand new Demon Slayer. We're gonna be starting the, I think it's called the Entertainment District arc. Um, and we just finished up kind of our recap of the Mugen Train arc, which was awesome. I'm really happy to have it fresh in my mind. And guys, I am just so ready. I'm so ready for brand new Demon Slayer. Um, <laughs> it's so hard avoiding manga spoilers. I just need all the new anime right now. Um, so yeah, I've, I know nothing about this. I'm assuming that, um... We're going to be checking out, um, you know, where we had left things. It sounded like we were going to be going and seeing uh, Rengok's family. Um, but what's going to happen along the way is really anyone's guess. Um, so I'm very, very excited. Um, I will briefly tell you my thoughts on the previous app. I think by now you've really heard you know, more than enough about what I thought about the Mugen Train arc because I watched the movie as well. Um, but I will just quickly recap it. First, I just want to say if you're joining me early today, you know just that means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much. And as always, I'm sending up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in the description down below. And... If you're joining me on those YouTubes, I hope you'll hit the like button and hit the subscribe button for me. Thank you so much. Um, all right. Last episode. It was a it was a rough one, guys. I gotta tell you, I had seen the movie and it did not make it any easier. It did not lessen the emotional impact whatsoever. Um, if if anything, I feel like maybe I even like noticed things this time that I didn't last time, or just like the rewatch, knowing what's coming. Um just kind of drove it home even more to me. So I was, yeah, I was pretty upset, as you know, for my last reaction. Um, uh, someone pointed out to me afterwards that, like, you know, this is a good example of um, if you want to look at a story realistically, a hero's not going to win every single, like, they're not going to come out of every single one unscathed. And that is true. But I think what really... What I really love about it is that he did win. He didn't win that battle in the traditional sense, but he won in terms of like what he was after, and that was to protect people, to protect Tanjiro and our kids and everything. And um, I just love him as a character. We had so little time with him, and in the time we have with him, he just found his way into my heart in such a special way. Um, so he will be missed. He'll be missed, and it looks like, I mean, the name of the next one is, it so, so has sound Hashira in it, so I'm guessing we're going to get to know some other Hashira a little bit more as well, which I think will be really interesting. Um, so yeah, guys, I have no clue, like, I'm guessing at some point we are going to catch up with Rengoku's family to find out what the dad knows about Tanjiro's background and to give those messages that we know that Rengoku wants to pass along. Um, but I mean, who knows when that'll happen and how it will happen and what's going to happen along the way. So without further ado, you guys, let's jump into this. I forgot it was like an hour long. It's like 45 minutes. Double length feature event of the premiere of the new arc of Demon Slayer. Let's go. Oh my God, you guys. That was so good. So I have so much I want to say. Um, probably a lot of it I'll have to save for next time just because, like, I doubt I'll, I'll remember all of it here on the spot. Um, but I just want to say that I was kind of surprised that we got to go see Rengok's family so quickly. I thought maybe they'd stretch that out a bit, but it feels like a really good way to kind of have some closure on that story and I'll tell you what guys I didn't mean to be so harsh on the dad I know he is he is ill in his own way and he is hurting in his own way but man seeing the way that he treats the son I I think that I got exactly out of that what I wanted to and that's I wanted Rangok's words to him 
to resonate with him in a way that would make him change his life. And when I saw him put the sake bottle down, I just really felt that like, it might not be overnight, but I really feel like he is going to, he's, he's going to change his life. And that's really what I wanted. And seeing like, um, we knew he was just very, very, seems just very gone from the man that he used to be. But seeing the way he treated the little brother, oh man, the things he was saying about Rangook, no. Guys, I couldn't take it. I couldn't take it. And neither could Tanjiro. And oh my God, can I just say that I need my own personal Tanjiro to headbutt all of my enemies? <laughs> Who does not want their own personal headbutting Tanjiro? Let's be honest with ourselves here, you guys. Oh, good lord. Tanjiro, getting to see all three of them grow so much was really, really fantastic. Um, I like that we we really um, felt like wrapped up the, the, the Mugen Train story. Like, we lingered on that for a little bit. We went to see the family. We had the interaction. I love the interaction between Tanjiro and the brother because I feel like they helped each other where they were at at those particular times. You know, here we had the brother who was just feeling... Um, I mean, I can't even imagine how he felt losing his brother, who was really kind of all he had. I wouldn't say he really has the dad. I hope that changes, but I don't think that's the way it's been for a long time. Um, and having this conflict over, like, you know, not pursuing the line, you know, the Hashira, the flame Hashira line that seems to be passed down. Um, I don't know if, Ta are they implying that maybe Tanjiro is going to try to become the, the flame Hashira? I mean, um, because I think he definitely could. Um, it's just not like they didn't come out and say it. Sun breathing. So that's what it's called. It's called sun breathing. That makes total sense. Because when you think about like the, what Tanjiro's soul looks like, the way it's like that clear blue sky. I'm like, oh yeah, he's bright and warm. Like this, so they even said, right? Like I think the they even said in that episode, like it's so warm, you know, like he's just bright and warm, like the sun. Makes total sense. Um, so all the other, all of the other stuff is just built on sun breathing. That is very interesting. That was a very interesting snippet to get. And he and the I think the brother said he's going to be putting the notes back together. And I hope the dad puts his life back together. That's all I'm going to say. As I just really, I really hope for his own sake to honor his son who he lost. And for the sake of his son who's still there, who still needs him. And they need each other, quite frankly. Um, so that's it. <laughs> I said enough about that. Because I'm just, I just like, oh, it was just, mm, that really hit me. Um... So now we have the sound Hashira. I mean, I'm guessing it's a, that's what it said in the, it said it next to his name in the title, sound Hashira. My initial impression of him is like, oh my Lord, like <laughs> what a wait. They just love doing that with first impressions on the show. Um, you know, our first impression is he's like kidnapping young children, which, you know, it's not really kidnapping them per se, although he kind of was not <laughs> getting their permission so that's not good but um but I feel like as we get to know him we'll probably get to know like he has like they were saying in the in the after um little Thai show secret skit they were saying like he has a strong sense of responsibility and like we can trust him you know I really take the fact that he was a shinobi um as you guys may have guessed from the Actually, I don't have as much Naruto stuff as I used to. There's more in the rest of the room that you can't see, but I'm, like, obsessed with anything ninja-related. And so I'm really down with that. So let's get to know him. I bet he has his own, like, determination and strength and resolve. Um, you know, his own brand of it, if you will. Um, that's that's not... It's unique from Rangoks, but, but still as strong. Does that make any sense? That's kind of what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm going into this guessing. Um, okay, Kimitsuji is a young boy, 
now, I guess. But maybe not. I have a feeling maybe he'll switch back and forth. I have no idea. Entertainment District, I think, is going to be really fun and interesting to see. Like I was saying, it's going to be such a different backdrop than what we're used to. It'll just be really... I know we'll have some, like, just like we did in the episode where they went to Tokyo, we'll have some, like, fun, like, kind of country boy moments with, um, with Tanjiro in particular, just not knowing what to make of everything. So, all right, guys, we have a lot to look forward to. That was excellent. I absolutely loved it. It was fun. It was action-packed. It was um, progressed story along. It was had its moments of heartfelt sadness and trauma. Um, it just really kind of covered everything. So great, great segue into this next arc. I can't wait to see more. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed watching along with me today. As always, thank you so much for joining me. Please be sure to join me next time and we will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.